Today, we can say that cooperation with Turkey is going very well. It is the opportunity to thank His Excellency Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, President of Turkey, who was able to conduct this cooperation as it was necessary. We thank him for all the support he has been able to bring to Burkina Faso during this important phase of our history in this war against terrorism. This kind of partnership that we need is healthy and sincere, and in any case so far, everything is going very well. It is a word of satisfaction. It is to thank the people, because everything you see is thanks to the people that we have acquired these devices. These devices will increase our operational capacity, that's for sure. So thank you again to the people of Burkina Faso, who understood the meaning of the fight, and thank you especially for this contribution, which allows the armed forces to rise in power to defend it. Well, from this, you can clearly see that Burkina Faso has received one of the most powerful military equipment from Turkey. And this is actually one of the reasons why Burkina Faso has been distancing itself from France and getting closer to non-Western countries. A few weeks ago, Captain Ibrahim Traoré expressed his country's reliance on Russia, Iran, Turkey, South Korea, and China for the procurement of lethal weapons. He cited the refusal of the United States, France, and their allies to sell weapons to his country and their attempts to block the delivery of weapons purchased from other sources. This has left Traoré's country with limited options for acquiring the necessary tools to protect itself. During an interview with journalist Cy Marcus Hervé Traoré, Captain Traoré revealed that his country had been receiving support from various countries, including Russia, China, Turkey, South Korea, and Iran. He specifically mentioned that Russia had been particularly helpful in providing his country with all the necessary equipment they needed. According to Captain Traoré, Russia had no restrictions on the type of equipment they could sell to his country, unlike other countries. He also mentioned that China, Turkey, and South Korea were other countries that provided unrestricted support to his country. Additionally, he revealed that Iran had been very accommodating to his country's needs, stating that they would provide whatever they wanted as long as they could pay for it. Captain Traor expressed concerns about the inability of Burkina Faso to acquire weapons from Western countries, which he believes are necessary to fight Jamar and Nusrat, al Islam wa al Muslimin terrorist. He argued that some Western countries have informed them that they cannot sell lethal weapons to them, which is a major setback in their fight against terrorism. According to the Global Terrorism Index, Burkina Faso is the fourth most affected country by terrorism in 2021, after Afghanistan, Iraq, and Somalia. Despite this, Captain Traor claims that the West expects his army to combat armed terrorists by picking up stones. The situation has become so dire for his army that they have had to resort to borrowing arms from neighboring countries during certain operations. Captain Traor revealed that they would borrow weapons from other countries, conduct the operation, clean the weapons, and then return them after use. This highlights the challenges faced by Burkina Faso in its efforts to combat terrorism especially given that they are operating in a region with porous borders. The military leaders of Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have come together to form a joint force to combat the terrorist uprisings that have been plaguing their countries for an extended period. The leaders have expressed their commitment to creating a shared security framework that would allow them to tackle the security challenges in their region effectively. In a statement released following their meeting in Niamey, Niger's army chief, Musa Salau Barmu, announced that the new force would be operational soon. The size of the joint force was not specified, but Barmu said that the three armies had agreed to develop an operational concept that would enable them to achieve their defense and security objectives. The leaders are optimistic that their combined efforts will lead to the creation of a safer, more secure environment in their region. The three neighboring countries, formerly under the security umbrella of France, have been increasingly drawing closer to Russia. This shift in allegiance is reflected in their latest announcement. 
Last year, the three countries, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, formed an alliance of Sahel states to create a federation aimed at enhancing their diplomatic cooperation. Furthermore, they declared their intention to withdraw from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, in January. The move came after ECOWAS imposed sanctions on the three countries for toppling democratically elected governments in a series of coups since 2020. The decision to leave the regional bloc illustrates the growing sense of unity between the three nations as they seek to assert their sovereignty and pursue their interests in the face of external pressure. In order to receive your valuable feedback, we kindly request that you subscribe to our channel and engage with our content by liking and sharing it. Additionally, we would greatly appreciate your input in the comments section below.